essentially almost anything that you can major in as an undergraduate, you can do a master's or PhD in. We have almost 20 departments and programs, including two programs which are exclusively just PhD programs, like the PhD in Comparative Asian Studies and the PhD in Cultural Studies. NUS and Singapore is really the hub of tertiary education in Asia. If you look at for example, the latest QS rankings that NUS as a university is doing very well. We have a very heavy Asian focus because the resources in the department, almost all of us work in, in Asia. There are very few other universities in the world where you can find um, so many people who are knowledgeable about Southeast Asia. There's a focus on Singapore and on the region which I really couldn't get anywhere else. Speaking as a Southeast Asian scholar, the biggest gem NUS has is that it is located in the heart of Southeast Asia. And I don't think many institutions can boast being within Southeast Asia and having worldwide recognition. There are some rock stars among the academic circles uh, within the Asian Research Institute. Students can work with top-notch scholars. They can be involved in conferences and workshops that we host. They can attend lectures and seminars. So when you come to work at the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, you're going to be um, connected into a huge community of some of the very top scholars in the world who are based here. I went to a few conferences overseas. So the first one was in Brisbane, Australia. Uh, it was very beneficial for me because I had the chance to meet the people, the scholars from all over the world that are active in the same area as I am. I stayed in King's College, London for the last academic year and the experience was really great. It was really an eye-opener. In the faculty, we provide quite a lot of financial incentives and support for the students. We have different levels of support. We have full research scholarships, which would be uh, covering the tuition fees and a monthly stipend for four-year period. Scholarship is great. I mean, I can live within my means. I don't have to rely on my savings. The U.S. is a very vibrant community, and the student life can be really exciting. There are various societies, sports clubs, things like that. I can definitely notice the culture is very cosmopolitan. You look around in your classroom, you can see people from different countries seated together in a classroom, exchanging their ideas. So there's a lot of uh, interaction. Within the graduate class, um, the, inter the dynamics, the interactivity is a lot more uh, collegial. Having such close access to the university, to the library, really was a great environment for me to focus on developing the thesis into the best version that I could make it into. I think this university can provide me with the best atmosphere to connect to my talents, my passion for political science, and actually to produce the best uh, research I'm capable of. Speaking from experience, right, I can say that coming to FASS Sociology to do a master's was probably the best thing that I ever did. Uh, because it's facilitated my career and it has given me the kind of kind of grounding that I needed intellectually. So the comprehensiveness of our university is a very strong suit for why students should consider NUS and FASS. Don't be afraid. Go for it. Come to NUS. <laughs>